What's up dudes and dudes to the air and my name's Seth and today we're gonna be taking a look at Johnny Graves, the unchosen one. Johnny's my real life brother's name, so yeah, that's pretty cool. This is an early access version of the game. I played a little bit of it and it's oddly fun. Even though it feels like a game that was made in the 90s or something. But either way, before we get started, we'd very much appreciate for you to hit that like button for me. It helps me out more than you know. And also, I wanted to give a shout out to Grab the Games, who are the ones that ended up uh, throwing me this copy of the game. They also say that there is a whole bunch of giveaways going on uh, on their website. Links will be in the description for all of that stuff. And without further ado, let's get into the game. He, I don't even know what's going on. Do you like zombies, Johnny? What? I know this whole night has been crazy, but come on, what are you not telling me? By the way, to our younger audience members, I'm editing out the swears that this game oddly has. Well, I might have forgotten to mention the possessed priest and fire-spitting spiders. Oh, that was her talking. You're kidding, right? Yeah, sure, I'm kidding. Oh, poop. Look at this! Look at it this way, Johnny. If you go do find zombies, then you know you're totally screwed. I guess zombies and possessed priests would do that to you. Just be careful out there, Johnny. The world needs you. Trust me. Yeah, right. Okay. So, this game is kind of a top-down shooter type of deal. Uh... That's got a little bit of a twist on it, I guess. Uh, there's a couple different mechanics of the game that I don't fully understand yet. Um, and that is, when we're shooting, we can't actually move around. Uh, so it kind of forces enemies, uh, forces you to shoot strategically, I guess I would say. Because enemies will end up kind of closing the gap between you uh, if you end up stopping and taking too long to shoot them. You can reload and run at the same time. And you can also blink and teleport around, which I am assuming that later in the game will end up gaining different powers and stuff uh, but as you see right there like it's like what are we supposed to do gotta be very careful not to fall into those graves because as it stands right now you can get stuck in them for a very, a very long time. I ended up falling into one of the graves while I was testing things out and although I did get out of them uh -uh. And this stuff right here, even though you would think, oh, this is going to the next floor or something like that. Nope, that's actually just just death. It just is going to hurt you. You have a rebounding health bar down at the bottom that is going to kind of go up based on where it actually is uh, in the health tier, I guess. So you kind of got like four health bars. And if you can end up like we just did right there, it regenerated because we didn't end up getting knocked down to the other health bar. And this is kind of what I mean about the game game being really odd because I don't really like outside of teleporting which of course you definitely have to do it's kind of a requirement especially because this game throws lots and lots of enemies at you and each of these zombies are taking like a few hits a pop and the other thing too I mean granted it's early access so rib um, but you can actually end up aggroing all the enemies on screen and then it's just GG, you're just dead. So it's really nice if you can get them all single file like we just did right there. And, you know, so long as, like like I said, I played this game for a little bit so that I could kind of get the hang of things because otherwise a lot of this stuff is... It's, it's beginner's traps like crazy, you know? And there's just something about this game that feels very nostalgic, you know? That's kind of what I like about it. Granted, I want to wait and see what they end up having uh, a little bit later further down the line because right now this is playable for sure, but there's there's a bit there's a few issues mostly with the difficulty curve, I would say, because like right here for example, this area up here has tons and tons of zombies, right? So, if we end up if I shoot right here, we can aggro this one from afar and kind of clear them all out one at a time, right? Because otherwise, if we end up just going in here like this and being not being careful enough, you can see how you get completely overwhelmed like really, really quickly. And it just, yeah. Uh, those zombies that are glowing with red around them as well, they're kind of exploding zombies, so you gotta be very careful about them. Oh my goodness gracious, no! Seriously. Quick Jaw Charlie, that's what this guy should actually be called, because seriously, he is, he would do great in the cowboy age. Never mind zombies. Zombies give him a hard time because there's five million of them, but, no, no, I fell in a grave! No, this is gonna be the end! If not the end because of those zombies, it's gonna be the end because we're stuck in the ground! Come on! I know you're early access, but come on, game! <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna see if I can get out of here, but otherwise, rip. And you can't even teleport out either. 
Like, I, I keep trying- Oh, yeah, there we go! Oh! Jeez, they, they should really seal those graves up before the final version of the game. I like how your guy can snipe, though. Your gun is extremely accurate. And, uh, in, in general, like I said, there's just something nostalgic about this game that I find a lot of fun. Now, here's those fire-spitting spiders, which are jerk faces. It took me, like, 50 zillion years to realize that they were actually up in the trees. Uh-oh. And the fire doesn't seem to go away for a very, very, very long time. So, uh, that's another thing that can end up- oh! Really screwing you over because you like like you saw right there I kind of backpedaled right into it and they have lots of things like this to pick up the health Then have a whole bunch of zombies approach you that are just gonna end up taking away your health Very difficult game, but you know what? I like it. It there's just something about it Even it being broken like this where it's like where am I am I in the bushes like I can't see what's going on There's a spider too, which you can barely see. Oh, no, I'm on fire. Oh, but anyways folks It's gonna be links in the description for all this stuff. I I, uh, yeah, 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 I never really made it any further than this. You know what? Let's just let's just run for it Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Can we run for it? There's a car right there. Can we take that we should be able to Ooh! Get wrecked early access! I beat you! Yes! How do we get over there? <laughs> oh no, don't get me stuck! Oh! So now we know, hashtag confirm, you can get on some rocks and that'll end up uh, saving your life. Because you'll end up being- what? Okay. Is this like the entire area or something? There we go. Aha! So there's something over here the entire time. No! So if we got on some rocks there, then we're gonna be safe. So if we got onto that bench, I bet we would be safe as well. Give me the extra health. I need that. My goodness gracious. I want to see how far we can get. So I guess running in some instances is actually a good thing. And if you know where all the enemies are, you can definitely, uh, excuse me. You can definitely snipe them while they're off the map. Okay. 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 I see how it is. I see how it is. You're gonna just keep resing them, huh? You weird freak. I don't even know what that is. I would love to take a look at him, but I can't because he just kept resing them all there. He's dead. Oh, he's Zuggles. I really like him, though. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, yeah, of course, a bunch of health that's gonna be blocked off. Get out of my face! No! Oh, that was too close. Well, at least we're gonna end up being at full health. This game oddly ends up being extremely tense. I like it. It's, it's kind of a broken mess, but it's a beautiful broken mess, isn't it? There's just something about it that I like. I mean, granted, it makes for a terrible YouTube video, unfortunately, just because of how dark it is and how there's so much lack of color, which I'm sorry about that one, folks. There's not really much I can do. Uh, in editing, I will try and brighten it up as much as I can and kind of add more coloring. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what's going to end up happening with the final version of the video. No! Oh! I don't like that. That's one thing that I would legit complain about, is if we're in the middle of shooting, we gotta wait for our animation to finish before we can end up teleporting. I would very much prefer uh, if we could end up just teleporting anyways. Like, it just should be something better than that, you know? I guess we were supposed to have jumped down to get that, <laughs> but instead we ended up kind of cheating a little bit. I don't even think I needed that health if I was uh, actually looking at it. Oh boy. Okay, way too, way too many enemies. Way too many enemies. Where's a bench? Where's a bench when you need one? Where's a bench? I need something to jump onto. Oh my goodness gracious, there's too many zombies. What's going on? Let's see. Can we end up? Oh, 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 we're getting stuck on the fence. We're getting stuck on the fence. Ah! Spinning spiders! No! Run, Johnny! <laughs> Alright, let's get on the bench. We're safe, except for those spinning spiders. They're gonna kill me. No! Blech! <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Links are in the description for everything that you need. No, sign away and stay epic.